click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi guys and welcome back to the course. We're down in section eight and we are looking at drawing tools in OneNote. And in the last module, I showed you how you can switch from type mode into touch mode. And we've had a little play around with some of those drawing tools. We've experimented with different sizes, different pen types, and I've shown you how you can erase annotations from your page as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert some shapes into our pages. And you'll see on the draw tab, we have a shapes group in the middle. And if we click that, it's going to show us all of the different basic shapes, graphs and lines that we can insert into our OneNote notebook. Now, if anybody's used Excel, PowerPoint, anything like that, you'll know that this is a very, very limited gallery. We just have some basic shapes and also some basic lines. But we have enough there to do some simple things, such as you might want to create some kind of flowchart to show processes, or maybe even something like a hierarchy diagram. You have the shapes and the lines in there that you need to do that. Now I'm going to select the rectangle from basic shapes. And one thing you need to know is that before you start to draw your shape on your page, you want to make sure you have the correct pen selected with the color and thickness that you want. So I'm going to click the drop down to jump back into my gallery. And this time I'm going to choose this one just here. So the orange pen 3.5 millimeters. And I'm now working in pen mode. So using my stylus, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that I did before. I'm just going to put some circles around some items on this page. So let's do the station, the bad egg, and also Chipotle Mexican grill. Now I showed you before how you can utilize the eraser tool up here in order to remove these items one by one or stroke by stroke. But if you do have a lot of annotations on the page and you want to get rid of either all of them or some of them, this can be a little bit tedious. But there is a way that you can quickly make multiple selections and get rid of them all in one go. And that is to use the lasso select tool. So let's click it to activate that. You can see my cursor has changed to a crosshair. And all I need to do now is kind of drag my lasso tool over all of the annotations and let go. And you can see a very faint line around the outside. It's selected them all. And I can then jump up to my draw tab again over to the edit group where I have a delete option. And if I click delete, it's going to get rid of all of those annotations in one go. So don't forget you have that because as I said, that can be very tedious if you do have a lot of annotations and other things you want to remove on the page. So now what I want to do is I want to draw a shape on my page. So the first thing I need to do here is I need to select the pen that I want to use with the correct color and thickness. So once again for this, I'm going to go to my gallery. And let's select this one just here, the red pen 3.5 millimeters. Once I've selected my pen, I can then choose a shape from the shape gallery drop down. And you'll see what we have in here. We only have a few different shapes that we can choose from. And I'm going to choose the rectangle shape. And now I'm going to draw. And you'll see that it comes out with the correct color and thickness that I selected from my drawing tools. If I wanted to draw another shape in a different color, I would need to go to my palette first of all, select another pen. So I'm going to choose the lavender pen, one millimeter. And this time I'm going to choose the oval. And now when I draw, I get an oval. And you'll see that this can be an oval or it can be more like a circle. And let's just do one more because I'm sure you're getting the idea by now. I'm going to go up to my gallery. And this time I'm going to select the green pen 0.35 millimeters. And I'm going to choose an arrow this time. So maybe I want to draw an arrow from the circle to the rectangle. So this is all reasonably basic, but it's just different ways that you can use annotations in your notebook pages. Now I actually don't want these here, so I'm going to use my lasso select. I'm going to draw around those shapes that I added to select them all. And then I'm going to say delete. 
Now, the final thing I could do here is I could switch into draw with touch mode by clicking that button in the middle. Now, once I've done that, you'll see that I also still have Lasso Select selected. So let's click on that to turn that off. So now what this enables me to do is once again use my finger. So I'm going to click the gallery and let's say I want a blue pen. I'm going to click the shapes drop down and let's choose a triangle this time. And because I'm drawing with touch, when I use my finger, I can just pull out like that and it gives me a nice, neat triangle. So it's a lot neater than me just freehand drawing it. This time I'm going to go to color and thickness. I'm going to choose something that's very thick like that. And let's do a aubergine color and click on OK. Let's click the drop down and select a shape. Let's do this one just here and then I can draw it and it's going to look exactly like that. And of course, what I could do with these shapes is if you take a look in the edit group, I have an arrange option. So if I wanted to send this drawing behind the map, I could say center back and it's going to put that drawing behind the map. Let's bring it to the front again. I could select the triangle and say center back. So this is how you can arrange your objects on your page. And then finally, if I click this parallelogram, I think it might be, we have a rotate option as well. So I can choose to rotate left or rotate right. I can flip it horizontal or I can flip it vertical. So a few different options that you have in there. Now, I don't particularly want either of these shapes, so I'm going to click delete to get rid of that one and delete to get rid of the triangle. And I'm also just going to deactivate draw with touch. So that is pretty much it when it comes to inserting shapes and lines in various different ways, using various different methods into your OneNote pages. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.